Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church, our devotional time here. Uh, we're going to be in the book of Luke this morning. We're going to look at one verse. We're going to look at Luke chapter 6 and verse 46. Luke chapter 6 and Luke verse 46. And this is what it says. But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Now, I know we have a lot of people that probably are good swimmers, maybe a favorite pastime of theirs, maybe they love uh, being around water and that. I, yeah, I'm not that good of a swimmer. I could, I've always said that I could, uh, you know, if I'm at a swimming pool and I know how far it is across there and I know it's not all that deep, I can, I can dog paddle or almost float across it. But, uh, you know, I, I think probably in doing that and, you know, if you enjoy that, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, but sometimes we have to, we realize in our life that maybe, you know, like I said, I'm just merely treading water out there when I'm swimming. I'm not actually swimming, uh, but I sometimes find in my relationship to God that I'm just merely treading water in my relationship with the, with the Father. You know, and maybe on the outside, you can't see the, the change, uh, you know, like the uh, man who didn't build his house on the strong foundation of God's Word. You know, I'm just, dri I drift away sometimes from the spiritual harbor, uh, and sometimes they're drowning, and I, you know, I'm trying to live on my own, and, and all of those things, and strength, and I find my spiritually, that I'm spiritually adrift. It don't take long to do that. I, I'm telling you, you don't take long to do that. You know, I, I, you know, I knew how to paddle for survival as far as swimming is concerned. I know how to paddle for uh, survival in God's Word, but, uh, you know, we can lose our sense of direction if we're not careful and may, and, and, and then just begin to run low with what we can do that. And so, you know, how can a heart as ours are that is full of the love of God allow our faith level to recede? We got to keep that faith level up there, don't we? We got to keep that gas tank full and it don't cost anything to keep this gas tank full. You can keep your car gas tank full, it, but it does. But you know, just realize that we, you know, that, that life that life is filling up with the noise and activities and goals that were that are are driven by our self, uh, our self power, not sun power. You know, they're talking about uh, using electric to power cars. Let's do let's use sun s o n power to direct our lives and you know we, if we begin to sacrifice our daily prayer time our daily bible study uh, for just uh, any other experience that we can find knowing that you know not yielding to the relationship the lord desires from me or from us you know you know and just dis begin to disregard his plans and and we, you know, we just have no other foundation, no other foundation than that which is given. And so, but when we realize that God's word is our safe harbor or our life jacket or whatever you may want to call it, you know, if we begin to spend more time with the Lord and, and as he teaches us what to, uh, what to say and what to do, we follow his examples. We got the best. We got the best leader we can have. Haven't we? we got the Holy Spirit that directs us to God's word, where Jesus has already experienced everything that we're going through. So there's nothing, uh, you know, just nothing there we could do. And you know, but you know, call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say. No, if we call him Lord, Lord, let's do the things that he's asking us to do. And there's nothing hard that he asked us to do but sometimes we let the old flesh get in the way I, I understand that and and we just don't do what we need to do but my prayer is that the spirit will speak to you speak to me and know that I need to be serving God may God bless you is our prayer come and be a part of our services here at temple we have Sunday morning at eight uh, nine for Sunday school ten for worship service second worship service Sunday night at 6, Wednesday night at 7. May God bless you is our prayer.